good afternoon one and all and once again welcome to the video this video i'm going to be talking about application load balancer with aws lambda so essentially we are going to set up a application load balancer in aws console and then we'll have the target group as lambda now if you ask me but somal why can't i just use an api gateway well this is beyond the scope of this video i can create a separate video on why we want to do that uh first of all because of cost reason i'll go very high level cost reason is one and if you have a very lightweight application i think application load balancer and lambda serves the purpose all right let's get started with a small theory and then followed by a demo all right elastic load uh, load balancing automatically distributes your incoming traffic across multiple targets such as ec2 containers ip address and in one more availability zone uh it monitors the health of its registered target and routes traffic only to the healthy targets elastic load balancing scales your uh scales your load balancer as your incoming traffic changes over the time it can automatically scale the vast majority of workload um so essentially um elastic load balancing supports following load balancer application network load balancer and gateway load balancer i'm going to talk about application and not the other two so that those are away from i mean they, those are not in uh, the scope of this video right um using aws lambda as an application load balancer you can use lambda function to process a request uh, from an application load balancer as you can see elastic load balancing supports lambda function as a target for application load balancer use load balancer rules to route http requests to a function based on path or a header values process the request to return http response uh, from your lambda function um so maybe a clickstream application is one of the best use case that you can use the application load balancer and lambda right that's one way uh, to do it right um but let's go to the demo right we want to we want to see things in action man we we understand by learning things we understand by doing things right all right all right so i'm here on my console uh, come to uh, ec2 right and then scroll on the bottom section where you will see a tab called load balancer let me switch my video so you can see so here you see a tab called load balancer click on create load balancer very easy as you can see we support this support lambda click on create so i'll say my ah uh, okay my custom load balancer uh everything else is default i can select whichever uh, region i want i'm just going to select one us east 1a 1b blah 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 whatever xyz um now we need to create a target group right so i'll uh, essentially create a target group open this on a new tab you will see a console which looks like this right uh, very easy i'm uh, here put a lambda function here we'll do the serverless approach also okay but for now let's do the easy way so uh we'll say she'll so say lambda uh wait there should be oh yeah, yeah it's going to be in the next step i was like target group name uh one second yeah i think doesn't like space okay hopefully that likes um we'll leave it to default okay now here i'll select my lambda function i have a hello world nothing crazy create a uh, target so now that's done moving over here uh refresh your screen come to this one select the lambda click on create now look at the magic it's going to do your stuff and just wait now we going to use route 53 to route uh to this load balancer okay uh view load balancer so my load balancer is provisioning what i want to do uh i want to show you something right so www.soumil shard.com whatever right? you got the idea right what i want to do is whenever a request come in so i want to use so i want to route my traffic to an elb right and this will have a lambda for, uh, as a trigger right that's what i want to do so uh ecpc or very easy right once this is provisioned i already have bought a domain name so if you do not have a domain name please first of all buy one and let me delete this guy here so i can you know show you how i did that uh, zoom out delete record okay so i in my videos i have talked about the custom domain name so i'm not going to talk about that i already have a hosted zone i'll show you how i can create a record in route 53 so i'm coming here now come to here then click on create 
I'll, you can do whatever routing. So for example, uh, now you can go crazy as I said, right? Like for example, in US East one, you have your la uh, application load balancer, right? Uh, then you have a US West one, you have your lambdas, right? Your ELB, right? And then your route 53 here, you wanna route traffic. You can do all sort of crazy things. I'm not gonna cover, I'm gonna go with simple routing. <laughs> Define here, then I'll leave this blank because I want to hit my domain name. Uh, valued the route traffic here. Let me see, my eyes are a little weak, but there should be something called load balancer here. Application classic load balancer. Now it should ask you a region. Ah, I just put a new keyboard and I'm not used to. <laughs> oh, not government. US East one, perfect, perfect, perfect. Select like that guy, click a record checkbox bang done now i'm heading over back to my elb uh, sorry application load balancer and hopefully this should be done i will refresh it's still provisioning uh, so once it says active then i can you know uh, go and play with uh, all these stuff right <laughs> but i'll try to go to it's not gonna work because it's provisioning remember oh it worked okay so well, I was wrong. <laughs> it did work. So hopefully, I think it's already provisioned. Oh yeah, active. That's why that makes sense. So if you see my lambda, it's very easy, man. I don't have something crazy. All I'm doing is simply returning. So what you learn here, and I'll, so as you can see, header type, content type, application JSON, status, and a body as hello. You hope you are enjoying. So what you did learn here essentially is you could uh, essentially use uh, application load balancer and lambda as a target and you could deploy it on multiple region right I, here i'm just doing it us east one uh, you could deploy on a multiple region uh, let me show you one second so what you could do i'll try to make it quick so this is your first region this is your second region uh, if i have a pen here you can have your uh, alb in this region which is pointing to lambda alb pointing to lambda now you can use route 53 here when a request comes in you can route 50 percent here 50 percent here you can have a failover for example if anything fails automatically route to a different you can do a lot of things okay i'm not gonna go crazy but hopefully you got the idea once again thank you so much for watching and hope you have been enjoying these small little tutorials on aws with that being said if you do enjoy please smash the like button and i would see you guys in the upcoming next video